At the tragic story of the Akashas, the extradited sons of uh, late uh, uh, slain uh, drug baron Ibrahim Akasha, have arrived in the U.S. facing charges of drug trafficking to the U.S. And then uh, on the front page of the Star newspaper, Mudabadi says, I am not a Raila's project. This as uh, the quest uh, to find a flag bearer for the opposition intensifies. We'll be taking a look at that very interesting headline. But let's begin with the nation this morning and uh, the story on the Akasha. Russia's sons arriving in the U.S. for a drug trial, a story that um, uh, seems to have various twists here. And so the two sons, uh, Ibrahim Akasha, as well as uh, uh, Ibrahim Akasha and, and his brother have uh, arrived in the U.S. alongside uh, two other foreign nationals facing charges of uh, drug trafficking. And uh, this comes just uh, very interesting after Mombasa High Court declined to issue an arrest warrant of Inspector General of Police Joseph Boynet, as well as the Director of Criminal Investigations when they were asked to provide the whereabouts of these uh, four individuals. And... Uh, the arrive at the U.S. was confirmed by a U.S. attorney for the Southern District of New York, uh, Preet Barara. Now, these uh, two men, uh, Ibrahim Akasha and uh, his brother, as well as uh, uh, we have uh, Ghulam Hussein, who is also among them, and uh, one Mr. Goswami, uh, being described as one of the most dangerous drug barons in the world, and uh, they're, being fa they're facing charges of distributing literally tons of narcotics, among them heroin and methamphetamine around the globe, and among those countries is America. Now, uh, these uh, uh, four suspects were arrested after they allegedly supplied drugs uh, to U.S. Uh, officials who had posed as uh, drug dealers as well, and uh, that is when uh, they were arrested. And uh, the U.S. agents, of course, had posed as South American drug traffickers, and they say they have enough evidence to extradite these four individuals and uh, charge them with uh, drug trafficking. This, even as President Uhuru Kenyatta, uh, in the wake of uh, this news, describing the cost region as a drug hub, uh, describing drug barons as people who've uh, ruined the lives of youth at the coastal region and saying Kenya will do everything it can to ensure that it fights the war against drugs.